hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you guys again for tuning in today i'm going to be showing you guys how i do my own eyebrows today very quick simple easy i know a lot of people struggle with their brows so if you'd like to see how i achieve my own eyebrows flawlessly make sure you stay tuned and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment okay let's get to these brows <laughs> So first things first, you need your um, brow pencil and then you also need your brow bone highlight brushes. So you can either use an angled brush which is very common which a lot of people use or you can use a flat brush, a flat round brush. I am going to be using this one, it's my absolute favourite. I don't use the angled brush to highlight my brows just because I like the roundness, like the just quick round sweep the round brush gives to me as opposed to the angled one i just prefer more of a um, round brow bone highlight so i'm going to be using that one today and you also need a spoolie but luckily my brush has a spoolie at the end so i wouldn't need to get um a different um spoolie brush so there you go this is and also i'm wearing the a uh, mac eyebrow styler it's called this is the shade spite this is the shade before the darkest shade they have and obviously the ends and it's a twisty roll up one you can roll it up you can roll it down which is absolutely perfect oh yeah <laughs> before i forget you definitely need your concealer to highlight as well this is nc 48 studio finish concealer it's a shade lighter than my skin tone um sometimes i go lighter on the need my brow bone depending on the kind of look i'll be doing and sometimes i just should stay with a shade lighter underneath my brow bones so let's get into this so guys i usually start with lining the top and the bottom part of my brows this is just so I can get the shape of my brows out there first before I start filling in. And also, I follow the natural shape of my brows. A lot of people make the mistake of, you know, trying to create a completely different shape. Like, it's absolutely even different from your face. The thing is, sometimes, like, um, the natural shape of your brows fit in with the frame of your face. So if you naturally don't have a very high brow bone and you want to force it out, it just might not end up fitting the shape of your face. But I mean, you can definitely give it a try to see if it fits you or not. But anyways, I follow the natural shape of my brows mostly. And when I get to the end, I just tend to give myself a little bit of a hack. And also, when I'm filling in my brows, I do it in a shading manner and I go in with my brow brush in between as well. As you can see, I'm brushing my brows and filling in at the same time. So this part, when I get to the arc part, I like to raise my arc a tiny little bit just to give me a higher brow bone. This is what I do sometimes. I don't have a lot of hair there. So I make sure I don't raise it too much so it's not like I'm drawing directly on my flesh. And then I proceed to fill it in my brows from the back again in a shading manner. And I'm always going back and forth with my brow brush and my pencil. This is because I don't want it to be too ash. I want it to look as natural as it can possibly look like. So don't draw in one straight ash line and always go back and forth with your brow brush. So once that's done, I'm going to go into my um, concealer. This is NC48 and my flat brush. I'm going to use that concealer to clean up the bottom of our brows. And I usually start in the middle of my brows towards the end. Then I shade that out, blend that out rather, and then bring it to the front a little bit. I like to put less concealer in the front. I concentrate most of the concealers at the end where my brow bone is, as you can see, just so I light it a bit more because that's why I need more concealer. And, and when I get to the front, I just really put the concealer sparingly. I don't really like a sharp, straight, clean. 
at the front of my brows i like the front to look a bit more natural a bit more rough so it's not usually as straight and as clean as where my brow bones are for me to highlight my brow bone is more important than um, the front of my brows for me naturally this is all because i like a more natural looking brow as opposed to a very thick um sharp plastered on brow so I just focus more on my brow bone as you can see. I start in the middle and I bring it out in one straight line and I blend as I go. I blend out the concealer as I go. Then when I get to the front, I really literally just apply it spirally as you can see. And I don't really intentionally try to join my brows together. Brows are not twins. They are sisters. Sometimes they just don't fall in the same line. I don't really worry too much about this anymore and since I have stopped worrying I've been doing my brows quicker than usual so guys that's just how I do my eyebrows quite simple easy i don't line the top of my brows because personally i just don't see any point in doing that that's why when i'm using my brow pencil i'm really careful when i'm at the top to just really form the shape i want because personally i just feel like i'm wasting my time going over the top of my brows with another concealer to smoothen it out and also it also depends on how natural you like your brows to look I don't like my brows to look plastered on so that's why I don't really I don't line the top of my brows I like it to be a bit more natural maybe not so so natural but a bit more natural so it all depends on how you like your brows to look like it's totally dependent on you you don't have to follow this exact same route if you want to line the bottom of your brows if you want to line the top of your brows it's completely up to you but this is how I do my eyebrows and I absolutely love it so um if you've learned anything today let me know in the comment section do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and please if you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe it's very important for you to click the subscribe button so thank you for watching today i will see you in my next video don't forget to watch my other videos have a great day have a good night whatever the time of the day is wherever you are ciao